Canada's Conservatives have a choice to make. Will the party stick to Stephen Harper's values or go the way of Donald Trump? Most of the major candidates for Conservative leader embrace the priorities of the former Prime Minister. Aaron O'Toole, Andrew Scheer support low taxes, balanced budgets, and a cautious approach to fighting climate change. We need a leader who can bring that positive vision of what Conservative values do for society. And using Conservative principles to reach out to more voters. But they steer clear of social Conservative issues, and they are pro-immigration. Michael Chong is also part of this group, though he supports a carbon tax. A party that is focused on a true blue conservative economic agenda. On the other hand, you've got Kelly Leach, who is channeling the nativist policies of President Donald Trump. She wants to screen immigrants for Canadian values and take other steps that would reduce the immigration intake. Through these interviews, we can make sure that the people who come to Canada share our historic values. For a lot of us, that sounds like a dog whistle appeal to people who fear immigrants in general and Muslims in particular. You've also got Maxime Bernier, a leading candidate who wants to defend what he calls the cultural character and social fabric of Canada from so-called radical proponents of multiculturalism. Beef up our securities agencies with more resources and more tools. And then there's Kevin O'Leary. Oh, Kevin. I'm jumping into the race right now. His resume mimics Trump. He's an entrepreneur and TV host, and he's bold and brash like Trump. He does, however, veer left of Trump on social policy and immigration policy. But Mr. O'Leary is really just a tourist in the Conservative Party. Anti-immigrant sentiment is on the rise across the Western world. Will it come to Canada via the Conservative Party? My hunch is no. I'm betting that someone like Mr. O'Toole or Mr. Scheer will prevail. I could easily be wrong. But if the Conservative Party does turn against open immigration, even though one Canadian in five is an immigrant, then it will lose the next election, and the election after that, and the election after that. <laughs>